This is my first review video and I'm making it because last week I did a video on the upcoming Canon R5 and the question if I should sell my Pentax 645Z to buy the R5 because I want to upgrade my Canon M50. Now, if you want to know all the details, just watch the video, I'll link it up here. And I'm shooting this video with the Canon M50 and the 22mm f2 by the way. Now, I got a lot of comments on that video, mostly nice ones and good advice, also some salty ones. It's really crazy how some people take YouTube videos so personal and get offended by them. But anyway, because of those comments, I felt the need to make this video about the Canon M50 and I'll tell you exactly what I think about it and also the Canon 22mm f2 for photography and video, but also why I want to upgrade. And I'll throw in some test video footage too. First of all, everything I'm going to tell you is from my perspective, a professional photographer but amateur filmmaker, so I'm very high demanding when it comes to image quality and what an image looks like. I do large prints, exhibitions and some client work, you know, things like that. But for video and film, I'm not that high demanding yet. But it's important to know because what I'm looking for in a camera might be totally different from what you're looking for in a camera. It's cheap, I paid $700 last year and I think it came out two years ago, but it's still one of the best value cameras now in 2020. For vlogging and video especially, but also for photography. Last year I made a video where I compared the M50 small sensor to a medium format sensor, just to see what the differences are and if you can make an APS-C sensor photo look like a medium format photo, more or less. I'll also link it up here. And I was really surprised, the raw files that come out of this little camera are excellent and what you get for six or seven hundred dollars is just great. It's lightweight and small and it's just a great little camera to have laying around that you can take anywhere whenever you want. And it's even better for video, the face detection autofocus is really good, it keeps up even when moving around and that's just so relaxing when shooting because with my other cameras I always had to keep an eye on the focus and with the M50? No, it's just great. I also don't have any complaints about the image quality when there's enough light and we'll come back to that later but yeah the 1080p most of the times looks great a lot better than my Pentax 645Z for example and it shoots 1080p in 60 frames per second and 720p in 120 frames per second and I can tell you I've added 720p slow motion footage to 1080 videos and it's really hard to spot the difference it's totally usable. Then there's also the screen that flips out and faces you when you're filming yourself and I've made a lot of videos without a screen like that in the beginning but once you've tried it you don't want anything else anymore. It makes filming and life just so much easier. And finally, it's ready to go with the kit lens. Now, the 15 to 45 millimeter is not the best lens in the world, but for most hobby and amateur photographers, it's just fine. So, great price, great value, great photos, great video most of the time, awesome flip screen. Is everything about this little camera so great then? No. It's not weather sealed, is that a big problem? Depends what you're using it for, I've been traveling for the past two years so it would have definitely been a problem for me but for most users I don't think so and it also doesn't disintegrate if it gets a few drops of water you know. The bigger problem is 4k and I mean it's really cool that a cheap camera like this has 4k but honestly I've never used it. The face detection autofocus is total garbage when shooting 4k and it also has a 2.56 crop factor. For example, that would make this 22mm a 55mm when shooting 4K, and yeah, not for me. But I guess it's cool to experiment a little bit with 4K if you want to. Another problem for me is that it doesn't have a C-Log profile. Now, for videos like this and vlogging, it's not that big of a deal, but I also want to start making little documentaries and things like that, so I want to be able to color grade my footage. I've installed a log simulation profile and it works most of the time when there's enough light, but it's still not the same. So low light is also a bit of a problem for the M50, not so much for photography because the raw files look really good in the shadows and in low light. Not perfect, but I was really surprised when I did the test. 
So when taking photos, the M50 handles itself pretty well in low light. But when shooting video, it's a bigger problem. The image gets really noisy really fast. Now up to a certain level, that's not such a big problem for me. I don't mind a little bit of noise, even in my photography. But I wish it could handle low light a little bit better when shooting video. Because you have to be really careful. It can go from good and okay to bad and worse really fast. But I kind of solved that problem by getting the Canon 22mm f2. This really is a great little lens in combination with the M50. It's 22mm and with the crop factor that makes it a 35 which is my favorite focal length. And it's great to shoot videos like this but also b-roll, all kinds of footage. It's a great all-round focal length. On top of that it's f2 and the kit lens is 3.5 so that's a significant difference. Most of the times now I can avoid that ugly noise when shooting in low light. And it's also really small and lightweight in combination with the M50, that's great, you can almost put it in your pocket. In most places this lens costs something between $200 and $250, now that's not super duper cheap, but I definitely think it's worth the money, and the Canon M50 really needs a fast prime to fix that low light problem, especially when shooting video. Okay, so let me show you some video test footage, the different color profiles and also 720p at 120 frames per second. This is that log simulation profile that I was talking about, it's called CineStyle and it does the job when there's enough light. This is the CineStyle with color grading. This is the standard color profile, now remember I'm using the same light setup for all of these. This is the neutral color profile, now pay attention to the corners where it's dark, that's where you can see the noise. And this is the monochrome profile. And here we have 720p at 120 frames per second slow motion. So I really like the Canon M50, it's a great little camera for photography and definitely for video. It's not perfect but it does a great job if you want to make YouTube videos or vlogs, you know, simple stuff like that. When you want to experiment with C-Log and color grading or if you want to make little documentaries or videos for clients, you really need something better. So that's why I made that video about the upcoming R5 and my Pentax 6 or 5Z and the M50 and that's why I want to upgrade my M50. So if you don't need next level professional video capabilities and you're an amateur photographer or a YouTuber or a vlogger, just go for the Canon M50. It's a great little camera with great results. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.